Can you believe that this is Montreal? I'm Will, and I'm gonna be showing you seven of Montreal's best hidden gems today. From unique beaches, to surfing, to hidden gardens, and everything in between, I'm gonna be showing you some of the finest places in the city that you otherwise wouldn't have thought existed. Now, I've been living in Montreal for over 22 years, and I didn't know about any of these places until very recently. So whether you're a local or a tourist, be prepared to add some awesome must-do things to your Montreal bucket list. I'm Will, the channel is Sprout, let's go. So if you know anything about Montreal, you probably know, one, people here speak French. Two, we have incredible food. Three, we're one of the oldest cities in Canada, and four, we are an island. So how would you react if I told you that if you came here, you could also go surfing? That's right, I fully just said surfing. And even though we're 400 kilometers away from the nearest surfing beach, Montreal has a very hidden gem that I only discovered recently, which allows anybody to go and surf in actually a very safe location. I think I might be putting this on my summer bucket list. And if you come to Montreal and you're somewhat of an adventurous person, this should absolutely be on your list. All right, let's go check out our next location. Okay, so if you know anything about Montreal, you know that in recent years, it has become a much more bike-friendly city. But just because it's a more bike-friendly city doesn't mean it's fun to bike in Montreal. Nonetheless, there's still a really heavy population of people here who love to bike. But where do they all go to bike without having to worry about cars and potholes and whatnot? Well, they go right here to the F1 track. So Montreal is actually the host every single year of the Formula One Canadian Grand Prix. And it happens right where I'm standing on the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. But as you know, the Grand Prix doesn't last all summer. So for the entirety of the summer, minus like the two weeks when the Grand Prix is happening, this whole track is open to bikers. And what's awesome about this is that there's no cars, the street is paved, and you get really nice views of the skyline of Montreal. So now moving on to our next hidden gem. This time, we're going to Dieppe Park. Now, a lot of people will tell you, when you come to Montreal, the best place to watch the sun set is at Mount Royal Park. But anyone who tells you that has absolutely no clue what they're saying. The best place to watch the sun rise is Mount Royal Park. But the best place to watch the sun set is facing the opposite way. And to be honest, no one knows if there is even a place in Montreal to watch the sunset and see the whole skyline until I discovered right here. This is Dieppe Park. And just to add on to that, you can find many different locations in the park that have different viewpoints. Some have beachfront points like this, and some people are even fishing. I don't really know what fish want to be in the St. Lawrence River, but they're still fishing. So if you love parks and you love watching sunsets and you want to know the best hidden gem sunset spot in the city, it's right here. Okay, so this is one of, if not my favorite murals in the entire city. And I'm a little bit biased because it has a lot of sports teams and cultural components of this city on the wall. So on the mural, you have pictures of the two sports teams, the Olympic Stadium, and a couple of famous bridges. Now you'll notice that it's actually really loud where I am because this is located next to all of the factories, including the Malting, the Molson Brewery, and the Farine Five Roses famous building. Okay, let's go to our next spot. So in arguably every must-do bucket list you see of Montreal is the Mount Royal lookout spot. And I totally agree with this. This is one of my favorite places in the entire city. But our hidden gem today is actually the staircase right above Peel Street that brings you all the way to the top and gives you the entire skyline view of the city as you climb. I guess the only caveat is that you have to climb from the bottom of the hill all the way to the top and take over 400 stairs to get to the top. And even though it's not for the faint of heart, the view is absolutely worth all of the trouble. Not only is this an amazing backdoor trail in the middle of downtown, it's also a great way to get in shape. And you'll see as you get to walk down and feel good about yourself, everybody who's walking up and is out of breath. So we get exercise and we get a hidden gem. All right, let's see where our next spot is. All right, so let's just get one thing clear here. Just because Montreal is an island doesn't mean that it's surrounded by luxurious beaches and beautiful bodies of water. In fact, if you ask any Montrealer about whether to swim or not in the St. Lawrence River, they'll tell you that unless you want to come out with a third arm, you probably don't want to go in. But does Montreal have any beaches? That's the magic question. 
Yes, they do. This is Montreal's hidden beach. Okay, so does it qualify as your typical beach? No, it's a man-made beach right on the side of the Montreal Yacht Club, which I also didn't even know we had. It used to be so small that you could only fit like 20 or 25 people on the whole thing. Even though I doubt you can get a butler and you, you can't have a pool party and go get drinks at the bar because, well, there's no pool and there's no bar. <laughs> it's still a beach and it's in the old port and you still get your sun and you're in Montreal. So, hidden gem? I'd like to think so. So our next stop is at Parc Jean Drapeau. Well, most people don't know about Parc Jean Drapeau, and by most people, I mean myself included, is that apparently there are waterfalls located throughout this park. Not only am I gonna show you where it is, uh, I'm also gonna try and find it with you guys. So yeah, let's, let's go find that. <laughs> So I'm standing right literally at the exact point where Montreal blog tells me the waterfall should be and uh, It doesn't look like there's a waterfall. So in fact, this seems to be so hidden that it can't be found So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a guess that it's right here This looks like it could easily be a waterfall and if I go to the other side of the bridge and we look down that definitely Definitely looks like it could be a waterfall. Okay, so I'm not totally rude. I'm not gonna leave you hanging with that Jean Drapeau waterfall. Instead, I'm going to give you a bonus hidden gem in Montreal. So the reason why this is such a hidden gem in the city is because it's located in Villeray slash the Saint Michel area. This area right here used to be one of the biggest landfills in the whole city. So I'm no historian, but what I'm gonna do is give myself 30 seconds to give you a full rundown of why this park exists and how it operates. So Frederick Back Park used to be a site where all of the limestone was extracted in Montreal and used to build some of its most famous buildings. Eventually, the city of Montreal bought this site and turned it into one of Montreal's private landfills. After years of protest, the city finally bought it back. They decommissioned the landfill and they turned it into a 192 hectare park. But all this still left us with an environmental problem. So what the city did is build 225 of these big spheres. And what each sphere does is it takes the greenhouse gases that are trying to rise up from the ground, it compresses them and it converts them into electricity for the city. Whew. Okay, I think I got that one. All right, I think that's a great way to cap this video off. So with that, I'm Will, the channel is Sprout. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you liked it and you wanna see more, please make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.